The first thing I think about when I think of my angels is that we're just a huge family. I mean, right from the beginning, the tryouts, I could just tell that Marty was a family guy. We always just have this community where we're all really close and the chemistry is really great. saying this about our team. Like we say, we slow starters. The national championship, Oklahoma scored all their runs in the first inning. The game was won in the first inning. So all you people like, oh, the eight o'clock game or this or all this BS that goes on, man, you gotta wanna learn and, and learn how to play. Every run was an unearned run. So man, we want, we want the kids to understand that. One, we, we have a tough time getting going at times. And so, man, the game is won or lost, and it could be the first inning. And so, like I say, so we try to relate, relay that to them and understand that, man, let's get out of the car ready to play because the first inning does matter. I think a lot of people misinterpret uh, how he comes off as a coach. Being in one of his players and coming back, it's, uh, it's definitely missed, you know, because you're held to a higher standard. There's no ball coming in. There's no ball. Why are you stopping? And Aaliyah, what are you doing? There's a runner that's, that's at third. When you're doing or something wrong during practice, um, ultimately it's setting you up for those big moments. And uh, he's just like, trying to prepare you for when you're in those moments and you need to make that one play. And it's not just about missing that ball at practice. It's about being ready for that moment and when it, your time is called. What is our two principles? Number one, you gotta charge the ball. We still got kids. Look at, hey, Sammy, look what you just did out there. You didn't charge the ball one bit and didn't let the ball come to you. Hey, we don't care what mistake you make, make sure you're charging the ball. We tailor our program toward the colleges, and uh, because we're one of the uh, top uh, travel ball teams, we play all the top teams, so we see the best pitching, we go up against the best players, so they learn to compete at an early age, and the expectation is real high here, and, and how we train the kids, we train them to a level that they can be able to easily transition into college to be able to play as a freshman. Not just, they're not just put, put us on the field and we don't get any help. It's, Every pitch, every time we do something, they're there to let us know, let us know what we did, how to fix it. The best advice he's ever given me is that we had to talk about a big game and um, he was telling me, Megan, it's okay, everyone gets nervous, just as long as you're not scared, you're all right. And I don't know, just for some reason that's always stuck with me. I think he told me that in 12 years. We practice like game type scenarios, game situations, so we don't have one where you can just go be loose and make mistakes and not have accountability. We hold them accountable for their mistakes and what they do. So that, that thing within itself is kind of builds it within a player to I got to do my best. And they know in order to do my best, we tell them you got to relax to do your best. So although we put it at a high extreme level, but we tell them to be relaxed in order to let true talent come through.